We left home on the 9th of March, heading for the South Island. Our first stop was at the Wellsford RSA. The next day we headed towards Cambridge, stopping at Talpri on the way. We arrived in Cambridge just as the Cambridge to Hamilton fundraiser ride began. Our next stop was Taupo, where we stayed at the NZNCA park. After stopping in Turangi for a swim, we went across the desert road to Waiuru, where we spent the night and visited the Army Museum. After a few stops on the way, we eventually made it to Wellington, staying at Plummerton. Paul and I did a trip into Wellington City to visit Te Papa and the Gallipoli exhibition. On the 17th of March, we headed off to catch the ferry to the South Island. We spent our first night in the South Island at Coromico and then the next day we went to Blenheim to drop off a cylinder head to my nephew and we spent the night at the race course. We parked up at Lake Argyle. It is an artificial lake approximately one kilometre long in the Wairau Valley, constructed as a storage reservoir for the Branch Hydroelectric Scheme commissioned in 1983. The lake is also stocked with trout for recreational fishing.
Oh, that's got them out. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, moly. Yeah. Go for a spun. <laughs> Sheesh. Look at them all. Crikey. To zoom out to get them all in. I think these are the long finials, apparently. We spent the night in Murchison, the white water capital of New Zealand. The town lies on the western edge of the Four Rivers Plain at the confluence of the Buller and Mata Kitaiki River. The next day, we travelled down through the Lower Buller Gorge to Westport. arrived in Westport to a lovely welcome from the local Wickers. Do you think Dottie will be safe with all these Wickers around her? <laughs> we had been advised not to take Dottie to Karamea as the road was very windy and narrow. So we did a day trip up there. Karamea is the northernmost settlement on the west coast of the South Island. It has amazing estuaries and lovely bush clad hills. On our way back to Westport, we visited Lake Hanlon, a beautiful lake on the Karamea Highway. Back in Westport, we went to Cape Falwind and the old Cape Falwind Lighthouse. Then it was up onto the Deniston Plateau to visit the old Deniston Mines. Coal started to be mined in Deniston from around 1878. The only way to get the coal down from the plateau was for an incline to be built. This was finished in 1880. The Deniston incline was a self-acting ropeway that used gravity to lower 12.5 tonne laden coal wagons from the breakhead at Deniston to Cons Creek 600 metres below.
the plateau itself is a very inhospitable place, being very rocky, wet and cold. But even in that harsh environment, there was beauty. Freedom Camp Spot by the Anagahua River. Reefton was established as a gold mining town in the 1870s. Mining boomed and with this came technology and power. Reefton was the first place in New Zealand and the Southern Hemisphere to have a public supply of electricity, even before London or New York. The power station turbine was run by water supplied from the Anongahua River via a water race. A walk along the river and over the bridge takes you past the old power station. Reefton is now well known for its walking and cycle tracks and the recent discovery of antinomy, a metal used in solar panels, cell phones and other electronic devices. The Odd Fellows Hall was built in 1872. The Independent Order of Odd Fellows is a voluntary mutual aids association. Members pay a regular subscription and in return received financial aid during periods of illness or other hardship. Our first morning in Greymouth, we experienced the Greymouth Barber. Barber is a catabatic wind that blows down the lower Grey Valley and over parts of the town. This wind is known as the Barber 
because it is sharp and cold enough to shave the hair off your head. We spent a few days in Greymouth visiting family and exploring. One of the places we visited was the Point Elizabeth Walkway. Woods Creek is an amazing forest walk past tail races, dams and tunnels built by gold miners during the latter part of the 1800s. Rock wall there we Probably a good idea. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll head out, eh? Just wait for me a bit. And I will, okay, if you start walking, I'll video you going out through the tunnel. Um, a little bit, yeah. Once we get back to the junction. Found the puddle. <laughs> no, 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 because then I can't see you in the video. So, if you go back down that way, yep, keep on going, and I'll video you going out, and I'll be with you shortly.